Uh, hey folks, so this video is just to uh, talk to you about uh, these shower stalls. And um, this shower stall used to have a one of those uh, open and closed doors on it, uh, like a 90 degree one. And uh, these doors are just so notorious for getting really, really nasty. They get all black and moldy and you know, I've lived in places that had them and I've always hated them. So um, I wanted to take mine out and I wanted to do it cheaply. And I just wanted to put a regular shower curtain in like this one that I have right here. So you see this is um, what it looks like after I took the door off. And uh, just having the door off and having a regular shower curtain on here has just really uh, improved the experience. But um, I just wanted to talk to you about uh, you know, how I took it off and how I cleaned up um, the silicone that was on the shower and just got it to, uh, to good enough. And when you take the door off, um, you know, there's a lot of videos on how they install them and, and all sorts of stuff like that. But uh, I just wanted to share my experience, um, is that there's just this, just really, really thick bead of silicone that goes all the way from, from the top all the way down to the bottom. And it's at the bottom is where you're going to find the really, really thick, uh, bead of silicone and this stuff is just it's on there so good so what I used um I used this product uh Google on caulk remover and um I used it uh, directly as the structure instructions uh, tell you to use it you just spray it on and leave it longer for, for more stubborn caulk and uh it actually worked uh pretty well I got maybe like 99 percent of the uh the caulking off of uh off of the shower so um, I was pretty happy with that I just wanted to get it just just good enough I mean there's still some little you know smudges here and there but uh, you don't really notice them after a while um, I could always go back and try to clean those up but uh, I just don't care enough for, for some little stains um, but the tool I used uh, with the Google on which I felt was uh, critical was um, just one of these caulk tools and um, this plastic, uh, very sturdy scraper. Um, you really don't want to use a metal scraper on uh, the fiberglass tubs because it takes takes the glaze off of them. And every now and then, I would I'd hit this metal tip um, on the shower, so I um, actually covered this in painter's tape just to make sure that if I did go off a little bit and hit this, uh, I wouldn't scratch this too much. And there were, you know, there was a few places where I ended up scratching it, but uh, it's not that big a deal. So once I had all the caulk off the walls, the uh, the side walls here in the bottom, you'll see that uh, there's just these little, uh, I don't know well I can get this to focus in, but there's these little screw holes that you can barely, are barely discernible. Um, let me see if uh, the focus isn't that great, but um, basically what I did was I just filled those, uh, these holes right here with um, some caulking that's about the same color. It's not. It's not an exact match, but it's just enough to to blend in enough so that you, it doesn't just you know scream at you when you see it. Um, so I had to do that for just just a few holes, maybe like three holes on each wall. And um, so far, uh, it's been really nice not having those those nasty uh, shower doors here. But uh, so that's what I did to um, to get rid of that door and just put a standard uh, shower with a, a shower curtain uh rod in where i had one of those nasty doors so um i uh, hope this helps anyone who's trying to do the same it's uh it's a nice cheap way to kind of just brighten up and then when you you know you can close this up and you don't even notice that you have the shower there anymore so